All right, you guys said you liked this view, so this is the view we're doing today. I have another, see if I can show it to you. I had to open it up because I had to cook it and I needed to put some cheese sauce on it, but this is uh, a big as ultimate omelet, sausage, egg, and cheese. So we're gonna see how this one is. I've never tried this one before. It's a biscuit, which means it can be very dry, but it's loaded up. I can't really take it apart and show you because it's loaded up so much and it's a biscuit and it's falling apart on me but I did put a little nacho cheese sauce on it to moisten it up oh yeah you know I always do that I always try to take a bite I am salivating I'm so hungry nothing in the bottom nothing in the upper And this cheese sauce is leaking out the top where the biscuit broke. To me, Biscuits are kind of like eating paste. They're kind of like eating glue. So of course, I had to get my nose is itching. I had to get my zero sugar power aid. You're going to need something to drink if you're eating one of these. As soon as I take a bite, and I chew down the first time, it wants to suction into my bottom denture and lift it up. It's absolutely beautiful today. It's 11.30 been out of the house since 7 o'clock this morning because it's so gorgeous now. Hmm. Which also means that I didn't eat before I left the house. Anytime you buy something with a biscuit, they're great when they're fresh, but anytime you nuke them, they just turn into paste. Mm. It's good. I wouldn't say it's as good as the burger. 
but it'll fill me up and I won't need to eat anything else today. But it is real pasty. Now, I mean, it's just, it's like glue. It's stuck to everything right now. And that used to drive me crazy. But now, I'll take a drink and rinse. But if it doesn't break loose, I just wait till I'm done eating. The more I get into it, the pastier it gets. It's crazy. Biscuits are flour and water, and a little bit of butter or something, maybe some salt, but we used to make flour and water to paste wallpaper up on the walls, <laughs> and it would stay there for, it would stay there for 30 years. Yeah, you better have something to drink if you're eating one of these. It's, um... Difficult to swallow sometimes. Because it's so pasty, you really can't chew it up. I don't really think I'll ever buy one of these again. But I had to try it. I had to give it a shot since I've never tried it before. I've never even seen it before. Okay. I'm not just going to eat that last little bit of pasty biscuit. It's not worth it to me. So, what I do, if I rinse, I can't get that to clean off. I take a napkin and double fold it. Just 
go around my finger. And then of course you want to do it on the other side for the bottom. That takes care of it. This thing was so pasty. Excuse me. I burp after every meal. It never fails. That was so pasty that it, you couldn't really chew it. It just kind of smashed and like almost half like gum and half like bread. And it would get stuck to the sides of the denture, the outsides of the denture. And as it got stuck to the outsides of the denture and it wouldn't rinse clean, more would get stuck to that and then more would get stuck on top of that and more would get stuck to that so it was getting becoming very uncomfortable to eat but now everything's cleaned up ready to go and that's it that's all she wrote so I'm going to uh, put my drink in the box Save that for a rainy day. And my head's starting to go warm. So for the longest time, I couldn't figure out why my head kept burning. I mean, it was it would burn, and then it would peel, and then it would burn, and then it would peel, and then it would burn, and then it would peel, and it did that like seven or eight times this spring. And normally, my head would burn once and peel, and then it would tan, and I'd be good all summer long. So I was getting a little frustrated with my head burn all the time. And I couldn't understand it because, like I said, normally it would burn once. I expect that in the spring when it first warms up. And then it would tan and I'd never have a problem the rest of the year. Then I remembered. I worked from home for five years. In the house, not out in the sun like I am now. So my head became used to not being in the sun that's why it was burning so much now I'm using some SPF 15 I don't want a really strong one. it's not like I don't want a tan I just don't want it to burn anymore and it's been working really good but I have to apply it like five times a day just to keep it from my head from burning so it'll go ahead and tan and then once it's tan I don't have to worry about that anymore all right that was the big as omelet sausage bacon but let's see, sausage, bacon, bacon, cheese on a giant biscuit. So don't try it. It's too pasty. I will probably never buy another one. Uh, but I saw it in this uh, food mart and I thought I'd give it a try. And I tried it for you guys. So click the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, share the videos, and by all means, throw me a comment. I'll see you in my next video.